On Battle of the Ports this week, we are taking a look at a turd of a sequel to a turd of an original game. Yep, that's right, this is Shadow of the Beast 2. You play as the hero Arborn, in half-beast form, wandering the lands of Karamun, in search of your kidnapped sister. Along the way, Arborn befriends the wise dragon Barloom, and must defeat the evil dragon Ishram. I'll start off on a positive note. The music for Shadow of the Beast 2 was composed and produced by Tim Wright. The tracks feature samples taken from, amongst other sources, the Korg M1 synthesizer. The sound quality is very good and easily the highlight of the game. Just like the original, the emphasis of this game is on the graphics. But I'd go as far as saying, they're actually far less impressive. The game does have a cool intro though, that's well animated. The main issue with this game is the level design. Just like the original, it is awful in that the enemies appear out of nowhere. They are impossible to avoid, they onslaught you with their presence, and you get no invulnerability time when hit. This means your energy can be stripped down in no time. Then we have the horrible stiff controls that certainly don't help in taking on the enemies. In fact, this is so horrible to play that I ended up cheating with infinite energy codes. Yep, Shadow of the Beast 2 sucks. And before any fanboys say, it sucks because you're using a controller, let me tell you that I'm using a joystick and I also try playing via a keyboard too. No matter how this game is played, it's a stiff, horrible mess of a game. The Atari ST version was port by Echelon, and sadly they have not done a great job. On the plus side, the introduction is here, but now with no sound. The actual game though looks worse than the Amiga due to the lower colour palette, but what's not acceptable is how jerky the scrolling is. This also doesn't help the gameplay, making an unresponsive game even worse. Thank you. 
Next up is the Mega Drive port by WJS Design. This is vastly better playing than the Amiga original, but still a pretty shoddy game. WJS Design have at least given the Mega Drive players the option of three difficulty settings, and mapped the jump to a button. What they haven't done though, is change any of the port level design, cheap deaths and unavoidable enemy patterns. The game is also only 3 quarters full screen, just like the home computer ports, and even blanks the screen for the few seconds where the home computer port loaded. Very shoddy indeed. There is no need for this on a console game. At least the audio is fairly good thanks to Tony Williams. Sadly the intro is completely absent from this port. Mega CD time and you would expect this to be just a lazy ass port of the Mega Drive game, but no. This is a whole different port developed by Digital Developments. We have the full intro and loads of cutscenes, voice acting and full screen graphics, plus an all new arranged soundtrack. The gameplay and level design has been tweaked too, making it less annoying. But the biggest grace this port has is the ability to continue. Up to 6 continues are available, which allow you to continue exactly where you died. Talking of dying, that isn't as sudden as the previous versions. Sure, energy is drained at an alarming rate, but at least there is a very brief spell of invulnerability at times. Mega CD port was good, but this FM Towns port by Tim Ansel is even better. Basically what we have here is the Mega CD game, but now running at a much nicer resolution with a ton more colour. We also have many tweaks to the level design and gameplay, making this a somewhat enjoyable experience compared to the other versions, and a million times more enjoyable than the original. Of course, there will be those who disagree, and that's fine but if you've never played Shadow of the Beast 2 before, check out the original, then this. I'm sure you'll have a much more enjoyable time playing the FM Towns version. ゴブリンに盗まれたわしのリングを取り戻すのじゃ。そうすればゼレックを倒す新しい呪文が編み出せる。
now let's take a look at all those versions of Shadow of the Beast 2 running side by side. 